the William Workman Speech Award for Public Affairs at the University of San Francisco is in honor of William Spears Workman, who was a consummate journalist, a successful teacher, a past president of the San Francisco Peninsula Press Club, and an all-round wonderful human being. Bill was born into a poor family in Malden, Massachusetts in 1936 and grew up during World War II. He saw what happened when the Fourth Estate is suppressed and propaganda is taken for truth. He sincerely believed that a free press is critical to promoting democracy and keeping the world safe from tyranny. So from a young age, he dreamed of being a reporter. Bill, an incredible athlete who lettered in both basketball and football, began writing for his high school newspaper. While still in high school, he worked as a copy boy for the local Malden paper. He ran copy around the newsroom, which unlike today's quiet and diverse operations, was loud and smoke-filled, full of gruff men and ringing telephones. After high school, he worked in a factory, and after his stint in the Army, Bill was able to afford to go to college. He studied journalism at Boston University and wrote for the school's magazine. After graduation, he went to work for the Albany Knickerbocker News. A couple years later, he landed a job with the Boston Globe. And in 1968, he was awarded a Knight Fellow to study for a year at Stanford University. Upon his return to Boston, he covered the Chappaquiddick incident, where Ted Kennedy drove his car off the bridge, killing Mary Jo Kopechne. It was a huge story, but Bill couldn't wait to return to California. In 1970, he joined the San Francisco Chronicle as a general reporter, covering many major news stories, including the Patty Hearst and Chowchilla kidnappings, the murder of Taiwanese journalist Henry Liu, the suppressed memory case of George Franklin, and the Billionaire Boys Club. Court TV interviewed him about the Scott Peterson murder case, and he made many appearances on local television. After years as a general reporter, Bill became the Peninsula Bureau Chief for the San Francisco Chronicle and was the go-to man about anything concerning Stanford. Then for five years, he wrote a weekly column along the El Camino, covering stories and people on the peninsula, getting him the nickname of the Dean of the Peninsula. He took the buyout from the Chronicle in 2002 and began his freelance career, winning numerous news writing awards for both Gentry and San Jose magazines. Aside from reporting, Bill promoted journalism as a teacher at Menlo College, where he saw a number of his students go on to work at such esteemed news organizations as the BBC and ABC. And he promoted journalism in his community as a member and past president of the San Francisco Peninsula Press Club, where he spearheaded the Herb Cain Roast that helped fund the Herb Cain Scholarship. Bill had a stroke in 2006, after years of physical challenges, though he never lost his sparkling wit or fierce intelligence, he died in 2013. The University of San Francisco's Rhetoric Department offers the Bill Workman Public Affairs Award to that student whose speech most recognizes how important the public's right to know is in perpetuating human rights and a free society.